Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jordi, if you don't know me, and I'm starting this video with only my brows and face makeup on so that these products are a surprise to you and a surprise to me and a surprise to everyone who doesn't already have them. Today we're going to swatch and review and do a little look with the Urban Decay Naked Cherry Palette. I've also got Black Market and Love Drug 24-7 Glide-On Eye Pencils and the Vice Lipsticks in Juicy, Devilish, and Cherry. I don't have the full collection. This is what was sent to me in PR. I did get these for free, but this video is not paid for. These are obviously my honest opinion. Let's open them up, shall we? The packaging is sick. And here's what she looks like on the inside. Sounds like something a creepy serial killer would say. I asked you guys on Instagram what your first thoughts on the palette were, and they were pretty much all that it was not very cherry. Where's the red? Where's the black cherry color? Not super exciting, overdone. And I hate to say that my first thoughts were the same. I don't wanna judge the palette before I actually use it. Maybe it's going to surprise us. We're about to find out. I do really like the lipsticks, but I am just wondering where are all the reds? I feel like the first color I think of when I think of a cherry is red. Let's do some swatches. First, I'm gonna swatch Hot Spot. It's a little bit chalky and powdery, but I do like the pigmentation and I think it'll be a really nice base. Here's Caution. This one is really close to the actual color of my skin. It will make a nice transition shade, but maybe not for me. Next is Bang Bang. This one's quite pretty. It applied really well with a brush. I like it, but I feel like I have it already in my collection. Then we've got Feels. I really like this one. I think this is a perfect transition shade for any kind of pinky or red eye. Juicy. This one is quite similar. It's a little bit warmer than the last shade, but it did go on a little bit patchy. I was able to build up on it though, and it is a really cute shade. I am using a duo switch to take off the powder on my brush before each shade, just FYI. Turn on. Turn On is really pretty. I love how it applied. It's a little bit darker than Bang Bang, but it's pretty similar. Ambitious. Okay, this one is really pretty. Definitely my favorite so far. And then Bing, moving over here. I really like this shade. I feel like this is really unique. I'm not sure if I have kind of a purpley red one like this. Whoa. Hey, devilish. This one again looks really similar, but just slightly darker, but really close. Young Love. And this one's pretty. I do love how the shimmers apply. That's really nice. I love that it's kind of pinky. Drunk dial. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm gonna put this one up here. I really like the look of this one in the palette. It's like a shimmery brown, but with purple reflect. That one's really pretty. And privacy. The last shade of the palette is chocolate brown. It's nice, but it's brown. Here's a closer look at the shades from the palette. This shade Ambitious is a bit redder than it looks on the palette. This one kind of makes me think cherry. I do like these three shades. This one's lovely. I'll see how they perform on the eye. These are all a little bit underwhelming to me and this just doesn't really scream cherries to me. I think that we could layer some of the shades to get more of a cherry vibe. Like if we were to put this on top of say this or this, we can get a little bit more cherry. Here's a little swatch of Love Drug. 
That is lovely. This is more of a color I think of when I think of cherry, like a dark cherry. And here's Black Market. The packaging of the lipstick is super cute. Here's Devilish. There's lots of shimmer in it. It's cute. This is Juicy. It's really sparkly and pretty also. I really like this. I'm most excited for Cherry. It looks really, really cool. Ooh, yeah. That to me is Cherry. Let's see what we can do with this palette. First, I'm gonna go into Caution, and I'm gonna put this down just as a shadow to blend other shadows into. You can actually see it a little bit more than I expected to. Next, I'm gonna go into Feels. I'm gonna put it in the crease in a really round shape. Now I'm gonna jump over to Bing and follow the same shape. I think this is my favorite shadow in the palette. But is it cherry though? There is quite a bit of fallout. That's okay. Just keep dusting it away as we go. Next, I'm gonna go right into privacy and really darken that crease, keeping it really round. And blending it up into those other shades. Now that it's all blended out, I'm gonna go back in with privacy and just build it up more. Shadows are really nice to work with. Blending easily, they're buildable, not patchy at all. This is definitely staying like a dark cherry look to me. I'm gonna come back over here to devilish and I'm going to build on top of that brown. So there it is with the devilish on top and without. This one's just a little bit more on the cherry side. The best way to get as many shades on the eye as possible is probably a cut crease because I can go in there and cut out a space for all kinds of new shades. So I'ma get to cutting. I'm gonna set this with hotspot just to stop it from creasing too much. And then I'm gonna go in with the Love Drug Liner. And I'm gonna line my eye, it doesn't matter if it's perfect. And then into Young Love with the brush that came in the palette. And I'm gonna put that on top and kind of smudging it out onto the lid. And then I'm gonna go into Ambitious. I'm gonna put that above it. I'm not going to bring it all the way up to the top of the cut crease. And then with a really small brush, I'm going to grab some Bang Bang, add that to the top of the cut crease. With the same small brush, I'm going to grab Drunk Dial and kind of line my eye with that to get this kind of cool gradient. I'm going to keep the lash line kind of chill. I'm going to use Bang. And I'm gonna blend it out with Juicy. I would say this eye is pretty cherry. I'm gonna put on some wing liner and some lashes and I'll be right back to show you guys the lipsticks. My face is done, my eyes are done. Let's try the lipsticks. First up is Juicy. The formula feels incredible. It's creamy. This is so pretty and sparkly. I think I'd like it better personally with a liner, but I like it. They're definitely long wearing. This is a lipstick wipe and it's not coming off. Next is Devilish. It's super metallic. It's so shiny. This is beautiful. I love this shade. I would love to pair this lipstick with sort of a natural makeup face. They're so creamy, I can't stop rubbing my lips together. I'm kind of scared to take it off, so here we go. <laughs> I 
That's so crazy. Especially because it's not even a liquid lipstick. Okay, this is like a whole new shade of lipstick with a little bit wiped off. I like it. It's like the color comes off, but the shimmer stays. It's permanent lip glitter. I'm not mad about it. Last one. If I can open it. This is Cherry, and this is the one that I'm most excited for. This formula is so good. This is cherry. Like this is exactly what a dark cherry looks like on the outside. This is the dark vampy red that I've been searching for. This is definitely the one that I'm going to wear with this look. I love it. I think this whole look is pretty cherry. Maybe we were wrong. My initial beef with this palette was that it wasn't very cherry. It's missing a red. I feel like cherry is just scream red, but to be honest, this does have the ingredients in it for a cherry look. More so like a dark cherry look, not your typical red, bright red cartoon cherry. It's kind of like a realistic cherry. Still slightly underwhelmed with this palette. Really wish there was a red, but if you're looking for a red that is incredible, Relish by Urban Decay is the one. I really love the lipsticks. I really love the liners. The rest of the collection looks like it's really cool. I really wanna try the cherry setting spray. Hopefully I can get my dirty little paws on that. If you like pinks and purples and like burgundy mauvey tones, definitely grab this palette. If you just like cherries and you love the packaging, this is super cute. Do I think there was a Miss Cherry opportunity? Yes. Yes, I do. I think there could have been a little bit more cherry cherry in here. But I came in thinking I was not gonna like this palette and I am pleasantly surprised. I did enjoy working with this palette. I think we got a really cool cherry look and it's not as bad as I thought it was. I'm sorry, Urban Decay. Please let me know your thoughts on the collection in the comment section. Let me know how I did on this little review video. I don't think I've ever actually done like a full review video with swatches and everything. So I'm new, go easy on me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give it a like, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.